Let's turn back to yesterday's severe weather. At least three tornadoes confirmed in South Carolina, as we've told you, and some severe flooding in western North Carolina as the remnants of Tropical Storm Fred swept through yesterday. Our Taggart Hunk joins us live and local in Waynesville. And Tag, 30 people in Haywood County still unaccounted for there after the flooding? Yeah, Carol, and some help coming from outside counties. We can tell you some homes in this area have been destroyed. We talk about some of the mobile homes. They've been lifted off of the foundations as the search continues for those missing. Sky Force showing extensive damage across sections of Haywood County. We have been searching abandoned vehicles, homes, buildings for survivors, and we'll continue to search to ensure that every community member is located or at least accounted for. My team has been out here surveying this. We've sent a letter to President Biden uh, urging him to declare a state of emergency so we can get FEMA funding to these affected counties who've been hurt so badly. The Pigeon River peaking at more than 19 and a half feet yesterday. Checkpoints set up, officers only letting in local traffic. No cell service in Crusoe, remnants of the destruction. This car in the river behind Nathan Yarborough's home. It happened in a matter of about 45 minutes. The water went from just a normal flood to where it was four feet on the side of the house. The congregation at Bethel Baptist Church loading up, delivering food to people in need even after having 13 feet of water in their nearby school building. That's what humanity is about, right? It's like when, when the worst of the worst happens, we have to be there for each other, and that's what the Lord did for us, Jesus. You know, when we were at a place we couldn't help ourselves, He came to rescue us. So we just want to help in, in any small way that we can. This afternoon, Governor Cooper has declared a state of emergency. We do have to say, though, there's some concern. A lot of people may not be out of the woods yet. If you look at the forecast, there's a chance of rain really for the next week. A lot of people really bracing for what that could mean as a result of potential flooding for where they are. For now in Waynesville, Taggart Howe, WYFF News 4.